vintage test equipment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Neil in Venice, Florida writes to me, Sir Paul, I enjoy your videos and I learn from them. Well, thank you, Neil. Uh, behind you in some of your video sessions is a vintage HP distortion analyzer. Mm -hmm. What model is it and do you still use it for distortion measurements of amps? And if not, what test equipment do you use for this purpose? Thanks, Neil. Well, there she is, Neil. And this is a 333A distortion analyzer. So, uh, and no, I don't use it anymore. I'll tell you some stories about it, but I currently, use, when I do any kind of work, I use the Audio Precision, which is a computerized version of that. But this, this beauty, oh, goodness, how many years I spent sitting in front of this distortion analyzer. So distortion is added harmonics, added something that wasn't there in the first place. So when we build an amplifier circuit, let's say I'm making a, a little preamp, okay? I'll run a sine wave, and I have these sine wave generators here. Uh, this, is a, this is a pretty good one. This, that's a leader. I, I, my favorite one, I don't even know if it's around here anymore. All this stuff gets, you know, spirited away. But I, I had a really low distortion HP sine wave generator which put out a pure sine wave. So I would stick the sine wave into the circuit. I would get it up here and measure it on the meter and say that's good. And now I want to see if it's pure. What we want, if I have a pure signal coming in, just the fundamental, let's say one kilohertz, that pure signal has no harmonics, no extra stuff, no two kilohertz, no three kilohertz. It's just a pure tone. When I put that pure tone into an amplifier, if the amplifier is perfect, then what goes in comes out in identical form, just bigger. Here's an amplifier, little one, big one. But that doesn't happen. So what does happen is the amplifier itself will have added harmonics, third harmonic, second harmonic, you know, whatever. And this machine is just a giant notch filter. And so you, you set, I don't have my glasses here. So what you basically do is you set the frequency, let's say uh, 10 and what are we are, you know, frequency range is 10 times 10, that'd be 100 hertz. So uh, 10 times 100 is 1,000. So if I want 1,000 cycles, I'd set the frequency range times 100, this to 10. Um, and then I would start measuring distortion. And I go, see the function set level. So that's, that's the level is set, and then I go click. Now, one thing, and what, what it'll do is this meter will go, ooh, and you can keep going down, down, and this is in, here's 0.003, 0.001, 0.0003, um, and I can actually measure how much stuff I don't want there. So the notch filter takes out the fundamental, the, 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 this perfect pure tone, and it looks and measures anything left over. If it's noise or harmonic, anything shows up here on the meter, and the less I can get out of that, the lower the distortion. Pretty simple. What I love, and today I do that with a computer. And you plug it in and go, boop, done. What I don't like about it, the computer is fabulously accurate and quick. This, there was an excitement to it. Because, you know, as a circuit designer, you dream about, wow, I could move this bias, I could do a nested loop, I could, you have all these circuit ideas that you dream about. You wake up in the middle of the night going, I, I know what to do. I'm, I'm going to throw a current source on, whatever you're going to do, right? And you come in the next day and you're all excited and you work real hard and you get that thing just, and then you come over here and this, this is the judge. This be the judge. And it was always so exciting to do this and then you go, click, 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 and you keep watching the meter go down, down, and then after a while, it starts hovering up here, and then you click this. That's the automatic one, and it goes down, and then you keep going, oh, oh, and if you succeeded, you get down here, and this sucker is just wiggling, you, yes, and it was this theater, it was this process of click, click, you know, and sometimes you'd be like, eh, shit, 
didn't work. <laughs> and you go back to the drawing board. But this this added drama. This was, I don't know, it's tactile. I'm, I'm probably babbling too much. But anyway, this, yeah, 33, 333A, this was my baby. I spent years of my life in front of this guy. And I, I okay. So there you go, Neil. Um, that's the old HP analyzer. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for indulging me. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.